Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're looking at calculating with money. Now the criteria for Edexcel says we need to be able to add and subtract sums of money using decimal notation. This video is on multiplication and division just so we can have a look at the language. Now check out my other video on addition and subtraction because addition and subtraction with money could come up on calculator or non-calculator if it's in decimal format. If we're doing multiplication or division with uh, money, if it's whole numbers, so 35 pound times 12 it could come up on non-calculator so check out my video on multiplication and division of whole numbers if it is with pounds and pence it will be on non-calculator but i would like to have a little look at this so that you're used to the language so keywords today pounds pence coins and notes the most common mistakes made on this is not understanding that the position a number gives it is its value. So check out my video on decimals. Um, confused by the units and not understanding what the question is actually asking. So as I said, when multiplying and dividing, um, check out the lesson on multiplication and division if it's whole numbers it could be on non-calculator but if it's money that is pounds and pence it will be on a calculator paper at entry three so don't forget when you're reading a calculator 4.7 that means four pounds 70 i would lose a mark if i left it in this format i need to remember to write my four pounds 70 So it's going to be based on real life calculations. We need to work out what it's asking us. So let's jump straight in with some calculator questions and see if you can work out if these are a times or a divide. So Brett works for a printing company. He buys five packs of card. Each pack of card costs 14 pound and six pence. How much money does he pay in total? Use correct money format. Pause and give it a go, please. OK, let's check out that answer. Hopefully he got £70.30 because he buys five packs and each pack costs £14.6. He is spending five lots of £14.6. So I'm getting one mark for my method, one mark for my answer and one mark for my format. Don't forget format wise, I would need my pound sign and my zero. If I've just written 70.3, I'm only getting two marks. Let's check out another one. Vikram pays £438.88 in total for eight tyres. Each tyre costs the same amount. How much does he pay for each tyre? Pause and give it a go, please. OK, let's see. Hopefully you recognise that this is a divide. If he's paying this in total for eight tyres and I want to know what each tyre costs, this is the cost of eight. I need the cost of one. So again, one mark for my method, one mark for my answer, and one mark for my pound sign. Let's do another one. Kamar plans a music event. He makes a website about the event, and the cost of the website is £10.90 each month. What's the total cost for 24 months? Pause and give it a go, please. OK. Hopefully, you got £261.60. Because this was for each month and I wanted 24 months, it was a multiply. A mark for your multiply, a mark for your answer and a mark for your pound sign and your zero. Last one. The first prize in a raffle is £124. Four friends share the prize equally between them. How much money is each friend? OK. Did you get £31? Hopefully you saw that this was a share, so this was a divide. You might notice this is two marks and the others were three. And I don't have a, pound, a mark for notation on this. On this particular question, my answer line had my pound sign on. So today we've looked at multiplication and division and the language that might be used for that. So thank you very much for watching. Best of luck with your studies and don't forget to like and subscribe and pop any questions in the comments.